team. Great to see you. Welcome to another episode of Badass Unscripted. Hey, this one will be short and sweet. I want to talk about authenticity. You know what's funny? If you knew me in person, I drop like a ton of F-bombs. I also like to think I'm a super funny guy. I really, I, Certainly, I appreciate a good laugh, a good sense of humor, and I like spending my time around funny people, and I like being funny. And yet, when I listen to this podcast, sometimes as I'm editing it or reviewing it, I seldom go back and listen to them, but... You know, when you're making the episode itself, you you spend a lot of time with the audio, and it occurs to me that I'm very, very serious. And sometimes I think, you know, maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe it's time to change. Maybe it's maybe it's time to let more of my true character come out. As much as I'd love for this show to be useful to businesses and companies as a learning tool, so I know I got to keep it. You know, you got to keep it somewhat clean. But at the same time, I, the the real value that you offer in this life is being your authentic self. Be the person that only you can be. Be exactly who you are, be exactly who you want, and don't let anyone tell you different. So here's the thing, we, don't we always say that Agile, the, the real, one of the good reasons for implementing Agile is not about more stuff more quickly, more cheaply, but it's supposed to be about happier teams. It's supposed to be about autonomy in the workplace. I mean, I met some guy the other day who was telling me about when he's allowed to take vacation. And I remember thinking, wow, what a different life. I mean, it's been over 10 years since I was anybody's employee. And it was just kind of hearing the fear in his voice about, you know, accidentally taking or asking for too much vacation. And I thought, man, this is your life. If I have one piece of advice for anybody, it's don't let anyone tell you who you are or what you do. Don't be a rule worshiper. If you're so afraid of losing your job that you do things that make you uncomfortable or unhappy, or you give up control of the important aspects of your life, like when you can have vacation and when you can spend quality time with your family, something's up, something's wrong. I don't believe those are good things. I don't believe that that's a fair price to pay for having a salary, a reliable income, and maybe a pension someday. So whomever it is you need to be, as an Agile leader, be that person. You write the rules. You don't need permission or approval to be you. It is the thing that makes you unique, that is going to allow you to relate to your teams, that's going to allow you to have influence, to make positive change in your workplace, to connect with people, to drive your points home, to fight for and advocate the things that matter to you, that comes from your true authentic source. It doesn't come from a textbook. It doesn't come from your years of experience. It doesn't come from some certification course that you take. One of the reasons why I do and love Agile is I see it as an opportunity to reclaim our freedom as human beings. We're so privileged in North America especially, especially in a place like Canada as a matter of fact, to have the freedom to design whatever life you want, not to mention the fact we live in a time where thanks to technology and the various tools that come with it, you don't have to show up in an office in order to perform your job function well. I mean, face-to-face communication is important, but in my current workspace, we've got collaboration tools that basically make real-time face-to-face communication just as possible digitally as it would be if we're sitting in the same physical location. If there was one thing that I could teach, if there's one thing I could insist on or wish for all of you, it's to have the courage to live that authentic life, to figure out what it is that you want, what true happiness and fulfillment looks like for you, and to seize it, to claim it. I think that's more important now than it ever has been. We're looking at record rates, poverty, depression, stress and and work-related anxiety. With Agile Ways of Working, we have an opportunity to make an impact on people's happiness and fulfillment with their daily work. And it all starts with being authentic, being true to yourself, finding your voice, living your vision each and every day. So just a little reminder today to be authentically you. I hope that helps. Don't be afraid to write to me and tell me all about it. You can find me on Instagram at Badass Agile, on Twitter at Badass underscore Agile, and of course on the web at BadassAgile.com. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you for being true believers. And I will see you next time.